$1.1 billion shillings deal with the U.S. foreign aid agency MCC for the acquisition of electric buses to ease traffic congestion in Nairobi metro area. The president said he is working with development partners to deploy innovative transport solutions that will increase the competitiveness of the country's economy and improve the welfare of Kenyan people. These will attract investment to the country, create opportunities and raise the quality of life. He noted that an efficient public transport system will improve economic, economic productivity. The buses will operate on line two of the bus rapid transit. Mobility around Nairobi is, uh, is something that is very important to us. You know, Nairobi has five million people during the day and four million at night. So there's a whole one million people who come in and, uh, and out of Nairobi every day. That poses a very significant challenge on the transport infrastructure. So apart from the Matatu um, uh, transport system, the mass uh, bus transport uh, system is a very important component. I think already a lot of work has gone into getting the bus lanes already. So this, comp uh, this uh, threshold will give us the ability, the ability to conclude that process so that we can move people in and out of Nairobi much more easily. And there will be a conversation and we are happy that this uh, threshold is now being rolled out and uh, it will give us possibilities of what else can we look at to make transportation that much more easy. As MCC, you can count on my partnership, on my uh, leadership, and I will be available to make sure that uh, this happens in the time frame in which we have agreed. Well, that is uh, President William Ruto in the United States of America. Now, let us come back home with the digital.